when I was getting my hair done, a package came in the mail. Oh, she's eating off your food. So in the car, Tony's here. Hey. Hello. So I was super happy with my hair. However, it did take four hours. The next time you see me, I'm gonna be with Steve, like in that vlog. Good morning guys, I hope you're all having a great week. It is Monday, it is a new week. I just went for a walk with Lulu. I've just gotten back and sat down and done some work and then realized it was Monday and that I need to start the vlog. I did a really poor job last week of vlogging. So this week I am going to try just that little bit harder. It's a good Monday morning. I went and washed my sheets, so I gotta go hang them out. I'm gonna do some work. I have golf booked in at three. So you guys can come along with me to that. For now, I've got the Adapt Animal Seamless on from Gymshark in the little crop as well. Absolutely loving it. I annihilated myself at the gym yesterday, so no gym today. But because I'm going to golf, it probably works out really well anyway because I actually went to the gym before going and playing, well not playing, going to the driving range yesterday and it really screwed up my golf game. Like I'm talking some of the worst hits I've ever done and I didn't understand what was going on. And when I called Steve, he was like, well, what's different about today? Like, what have you done differently? I'm like, well, I did go to the gym. He's like, oh, that's definitely it. He's like, when I go to the gym before golf, like the days that I go to the gym beforehand are like my worst golf days. So I took it from him because he knows best and he golfs and gyms, so I won't be doing that today. But I'm gonna have some breakfast. Like I said, I took Lou, actually took Lou for a walk into the dog park. She loved it. She was a really good girl, actually. Just putting on some of my jewelry, I actually forgot to put it on this morning. I ordered two of the rubber wedding band rings so that when I'm training, I'm not not wearing anything. Like when I'm training, I want something to replace my wedding and engagement ring. So I got like one of those white and black rubber bands. These two bands are from Logan Hollowell. This one is also from Logan Hollowell. And then obviously my engagement ring was made by Jay Brooks. And then the band itself was from a little store on James Street that I can't remember the name of it. And then we also have, I don't know if you guys can see this, but we also have the earrings. And my earrings are all from Love AJ. I love them. Quality earrings for like half of the price of what other brands are. So not even a sponsored post, not even a sponsored mention, but go check them out. Let's go do some work and have some breakfast. the golf course just waiting for my turn first hole had a little bit of a warm-up not great of a warm-up but a little bit of a warm-up so we'll see how this one goes <laughs> Concludes my day of golf. Played nine, did pretty well. Not great, not great, but definitely some of my best hits, which I was really happy about. I did two great putts, very happy about that. But yeah, it's good to get out, practice, and play. I ended up basically hanging around with three older men. So one was, I would say, in his late mid 60s. The other one would have been in his 40s, the other one in his 30s. Couldn't get past them. Like, I, tr I really tried to <laughs> get past them and play by myself, but it was one of those things where everyone was teeing off at the same time and you can't really jump ahead because it's rude. But other than that, I had fun. So let's go home. All right, so back at home and every single night I light my candles and put them around my space. So I have two big ones, one's for my office, 
One's for my bedside table. These two are for my bathroom. They smell amazing. This one is, these two are actually just additional ones, but I don't know where to put them, so help me figure it out once we buy them. Love it. All right, so we're gonna go. Black one goes up here. This one goes in my bedroom. It's going to go in my office. Right here. And turn these lights off. Uh, so dinner is some rice with this little beef stew that Mill made. The Destiny Stank, Laura Part 5, on a part 5, on a driver, 7, 9. Got gotcha. a lot of holes in those holes these days. If I hit my driver well, I'm hitting a 9 9 or under the 2 or 3. we have toast with avocado egg whites and salsa pick it a gal pick it a gal I think is how you say it and then toast with some uh, bacon and eggs that's like just one full egg um, with some barbecue sauce yeah the messiest part though is that if this goes through and we do get the interview and we do get accepted I do have to move to the US for two years at, at a minimum I do feel a little bit lost at the moment just because I'm in building stages of everything like everything for me right now is either coming to a close or it's in really really early stages so each time that I sit down and do hours of work I feel like I'm not getting anywhere which is not great because it's obviously toppled on with Good girls, sit down. <laughs> you tired, babe? We literally just did this at the park for an hour. Hey guys, just finished up some work. I literally just sat down and did a whole heap of stuff on my laptop. But it is 4 p.m. I'm heading to the gym before it gets crazy busy. I haven't worked out today yet, so going to get that in. I was sitting there contemplating, should I go, should I not? And here I am, so I'm gonna go get that done. I didn't film inside the gym because it was packed and I don't want to be that person but that was a good session I'm tired I'm actually wrecked tonight I'm going to make some roast veggies and chicken I'm gonna put some chicken in the air fryer I have like a organic chicken tenders that I'm going to put into the air fryer and cook that up and then have that with some roast veggies and then I'm gonna catch up on the Love Island episode I'm gonna read I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna to go to bed I was gonna do a little bit more work, but I think I'm gonna call it quits for today and just enjoy the rest of the day. Um, but yeah, let's go inside. I just got home, so time to get cooking. Good looking. Morning guys, it is Wednesday. 
I have actually already sat down, done a little bit of work, working out, done my skincare, all of that jazz. But Lou and I are going to go for a morning walk just to get the day started because if I don't do that, I don't feel myself. So that's what we're going to go do. Help me pick out an outfit. Well, not help me because I can't get an immediate response from you guys, but watch me pick out an outfit. <laughs> so we've got the green adapt fleck. We're going to pair it with a just a plain sports bra underneath, so it really doesn't matter what color it is. I'm just going to use a black one. We've got the black ruched training bra. And then I am going to wear a long sleeve over the top. So I'm going to wear the Steve Cook X Gymshark line. It's the long sleeve camo tee. I'm going to get changed. We're going to go for a walk. Let's go. <laughs> walk is all done. I've just put on some makeup, gotten changed, and I'm about to go to my hair appointment in the valley. So I go to Edwards & Co Fortitude Valley. They're amazing. I have been going there for two plus years now and I absolutely love the colors that they do with my hair. So yeah, we're off now. Let's go. Far out. Super happy with my hair. However, it did take four hours. It was such a long process. My poor hairdressers. So I have one who does the coloring and another who does the styling and cutting and trims and stuff like that and both of them were running behind because I guess they were down two staff members so everyone was just kind of running frantic but it also meant that the actual thing was just really really long process so it's now 3 p.m and I have actually haven't eaten I need to eat but dad invited me over for dinner at 6 30 so I'm not gonna eat too much because it's 3 p.m I don't know how much I can eat Oh my body digests it. Well, you guys know what music I listen to now, that's for sure. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. It's Megana. You won't remember. I'll be the one. You won't forget. We're gonna get copyrighted here. Woo! Okay, so when I was getting my hair done, the package came in the mail. From Gymshark, big, big parcel. So, but they're coming out with a Vitals Neutrals range, which, so we have Fawn, Vanilla Brown, Cherry Brown, and Espresso. I feel like they've done this color before. Love it. This one is the Fawn, which I feel like is definitely darker than my skin tone, but that's good because I don't want it to wash out in my skin. This one is not the neutrals range, it's the main range, and this one's baked maroon. Makes sense that Maroni gets a maroon vital. <laughs> oh, this is new. Look at this vital top. That's gonna be really booby. Like, that's gonna accentuate my boobs a lot, I feel. These are the double shorts. Maroon version of that same top before. I think this is gonna look really nice, this crop top. Long sleeve full tee in the same color as those double shorts. What color is this one? Pearl blue, new black. This is actually perfect because my other ones literally just got a hole in them. I've had them for so long. Oh, that's, that's funky. Look at the waistband. It's literally like a string that folds through the whole thing. And then black in the same pants. They look really comfy actually. Like the perfect pair of pants to put over to get into the gym. Love it. Yum. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> She's eating off your fork. Oh, good morning. It's cold, like so cold. Seven degrees. I don't know if it's because I live near the ocean, like on the water, or whether it's just like a cold snap this morning. I think it is a cold snap because I actually saw on the news yesterday, they were like, get ready for a cold Thursday morning. And I was like, <laughs> FML. I'm not really good with the cold, clearly. But I haven't really done anything this morning yet. I need to make some breakfast. I am actually about to jump on a podcast with some would say podcast jokes. That's tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it's Thursday. It's Thursday, guys. Here I am, literally, I've been sitting here for about an hour and a half, work things and getting shit ready so that when I'm on the podcast, I am good to go. Like not podcast prep, but more so like time scheduling of my day. And 
it's tomorrow. Plan for today. I need to make sure that I'm doing an hours of work for Apollo and Sage. I schedule three one hour blocks um, to go towards different things. And that is my non-negotiable for every day. If I do more, even better. If I do less, not acceptable. <laughs> So I make sure that I'm trying to do at least one hour of each thing so that I'm progressing in the three major parts of my business life. Um, otherwise, I just don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. So I'm going to do that today. I'm going to take LOO, LOO for WALK. I cannot say it out loud because she is right in front of me. And then I am also going to have to do something else before heading to dinner with Tanya. Tanya booked a place, um, I think it's called Brew Dog. It's in Murray. I've been there before with some friends. It's like an American diner style place. And they've, um, Tanya and I have been trying to organize to go there for dinner for a long time, but just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm gonna do that. That's what I need to do. I need to train today. Um, I need to make sure I get in and, and do a workout because I've been super consistent with that as well. You know what? This week has been a really freaking good week. Like I'm pretty sure I said on my last vlog, I was going to turn my week around and I have 100% done so. So I'm really proud of myself for that because I could have easily spiraled into a shitty week again. Although last week was still fun. It's just that I had down moments, but anyway, it's Thursday. Let's get the day started. I'm going to go have some avocado feta red onion and relish on toast because i've been craving it let's go do that work and I'm cooking up Lulu's meals for when I'm away in Canada. I'm gonna cook it all up, I'm gonna freeze it and then Jay and my dad who are both looking after Lou while I'm away, they can defrost the food and not worry about obviously having to cook it up because I just don't wanna be more of a burden <laughs> to anyone. I'm only gone for three weeks so I'm cooking enough for her for three weeks. It should be fine, four containers is enough. veggies, two five liter containers of that, as you can see. And then we have basically one and a half, like I would consider that one, consider that a half, of chicken, salmon, sardines, potatoes and veggies. I guess potatoes are veggies, but that's that one. So these three are gonna go in the freezer. I'm gonna feed Lou this last container, I might even end up having to cook one more up before I leave. So it's Thursday, I leave Monday. Um, just, again, I would rather them have too much food than too little. So that's the plan. I'm gonna dish her up her dinner for tonight. Little scoop of bickies. And then, 
gonna put that in the fridge and ask Jay to feed her that a little bit later. And I'm gonna get ready to, <laughs> she thinks she's getting fed now. I'm gonna get ready to go out for dinner with Tanya and Haley. Okay, so in the car, Tanya's here. Hey. Hello. Hello, that's close. <laughs> in her little puffer jacket looking thing. Love it. <laughs> and jeans, are they the jeans that I chose too? Yes. <laughs> I love the shout out on stories mother. today. But in other news, look at this really pretty sunset. I don't have any water in my wipers even cleaned up. That's okay. <laughs> it's it's clear enough. Okay. Pretty. What have we got? I've got a clock Norris. A little bit of saucy. These sausages look amazing. Tanya's got a steak. And Howes has got a Thai salad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good morning. It is Saturday, we skipped a day. Yesterday I just had the day to myself. Hello, good morning. Do you wanna come say good morning to all of your friends on the vlog? Yeah, hi. Yeah, you be a nice girl. You be, be a nice girl, be a nice girl. We are going to go outside, but basically we skipped a day and it is Saturday. I'm going to my brother's football game this morning at 11 at Mount Gravatt and then coming back I need to grab some suitcases from DFO. Your girl's suitcase broke last time she was in Sydney so I need something that's reliable, a little bit bigger and a little bit deeper for more clothes but other than that, let's get this day started. Come on, let's go get your ball. We're just gonna play fetch for a little bit. Oh, preferably not piggy. What about your ball? Go get your ball. Go on, go get your ball. Look at the little trot. Go get your ball. I'm back home and I completely <laughs> forgot to film today, but basically we went to Jay's football game. I do have like a little Instagram video that I posted to my story, so you can have a look at that. But, and then we went to DFO, me and Mill, Jay's girlfriend went to DFO and I got some suitcases for Canada. I needed to get some newbies as my old ones have lost their wheels. They're just a bit busted up. So got some new suitcases and Mill and I both got a few different things. I got a big new pair of Connies, new pair of runners, um, and then like two little tops that were $5 from Cotton On Body. Anyway. We have got a whole heap of like little snacks and girly things. We're gonna have some red, red wine. Red, red. Done. Sign me up. Girls night. We're gonna watch Love Island. Oh, I know. Wait, mine does that all the time too. None of these are broken, but they are. Alrighty, here we are. Mm. That's nice. Good one. Mm. It tastes really funky when you have grapes. Don't do the grapes and then the wine. I'm gonna try. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I am heading to a family lunch. Just went for breakfast with Katie, one of my girlfriends, and took Lou to the dog park. Now I'm back home, getting dressed and ready to go to Breakfast Creek Hotel for my granddad's 70th birthday. Oh, this is my outfit for today. I have Connie's overalls and this little like zip top. I literally just did nothing with my hair and put a little bit of makeup powder on. I haven't even done my lashes or anything. I really could not care less today, to be honest. So yeah, that's me. And I'll see you guys when I get back. We'll sit and chat while I'm packing my bags for Canada. I'm back and it's 5 p.m. I went out at 1. Lunch was at 1. I came back. I had a nap. I lied down. I read to my, my book. And now I'm ready to pack. And to be honest, I'm putting it off. I'm dreading it. I don't want to pack. I don't want to do anything. I just want to sleep. But instead, I have to pack. Oh my goodness. I am all done. So, I'm going to put you guys down. I hope this stays straight up. 
I packed like a good amount of clothes, not heaps, but a good amount. And it felt so heavy, like my bag felt so heavy. So I made sure I took everything out. Like I literally have one pair of runners that I'm taking. I didn't bring my hiking boots. Steve is going to get me some when we get to Canada because he threw my hiking boots out. Literally all that's in my bag is like shirts. I've got two pairs of jeans that I've packed. Yeah, a jumper, one jacket, workout clothes, and like hiking clothes. I feel like that's not much at all, but genuinely this bag feels so heavy and I'm confused because my thing is that for my Brisbane to Sydney flight, I'm going business, which it allows me to have like two 32 kilo bags, which is amazing. But to be honest, because I'm a gold member at Virgin anyway, I was able to get two 32 bags like on any flight that I go on. My Air Canada flight is premium economy. So it's like a little bit of an upgrade from economy and they give you two 23 kilo bags, which would be fine if I was taking two bags, but I don't want to take two bags. Like I don't want to be hauling around two suitcases with me for three weeks. So I'm really hoping that the Air Canada person that checks me in says, oh, you've only got one bag. As long as it doesn't exceed the 32 kilos, maybe they could put my 23 and 23 kilos together to total 46. But I know that your bags can't exceed 32 kilos because that's like the max that they will have because people can't lift it up any more than that. I was going to say I'll update you guys tomorrow, but you guys won't see the update until next vlog. So, the next time you see me, actually no, yes, the next time you see me I'm going to be with Steve, like in that vlog. Stop it. All right. Okay, I'm gonna see you very soon on the next vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Ciao. Bye guys.